reported stories over the last year is that there's been a dramatic spike in deaths that have nothing to do with the coronavirus, not just in the U.S., but in Europe, too. So dramatic that it begs the question, why is this happening? No one seems to be asking except Alex Berenson. He's followed this closely. He joined. Well, here's a kind of shocking story that's received almost no attention and is pretty ominous. Government data from around the world show that so-called all-cause deaths are running well above normal. This is happening in Western Europe, for example. What explains this? What could explain it? These are not deaths from COVID. These are deaths directly. These are deaths from some other things. What are they? Well, Alex Berenson has looked deeply into this. He's an author and a journalist. Of course, he writes on Substack, which you should read. He joins us tonight. Alex, thanks so much for coming on. So we, can you just describe the outline of this? Because it's a pretty amazing story. So, so, yeah, I mean, this is complicated, Tucker, and there's several cross-currents yes. here, and I know I don't have a lot of time. Um, right. And I really am exploring this and have explored this a couple of times on the stack, on the sub-stack, and I'm going to go back into that again. But let me quickly tell you what we know, which is in the big countries in Western Europe, in several of the big countries in Western Europe, notably the U.K. and Germany, which are the two, uh, you know, two, of the, two of the largest by population, deaths are suddenly running higher than normal. And that's been true in the U.K. for several months. Remember, the U.K. vaccinated a lot of people early this year. They've had deaths running higher than normal for a couple of months. Germany, the vaccinations happened closer to uh, the spring, and they've had deaths higher than normal in September. We don't know why. In the U.K., where there's more data, it looks like there's a lot of cardiovascular deaths that are driving this. We don't know what that means. In the U.S., there, are, there has been an excess in mortality in people under 50 that has gone on for two years now, and we have a terrible number of deaths happening in people that age. Some of those deaths are COVID. Some of those deaths appear to be lockdown-related or, i.e., um, drug overdoses, which we know are running really high. But in the yes. last few months, even as COVID deaths fell in the spring, deaths in that age group remained very high in the U.S., this is, a, a, and, and again, there's a couple possibilities. One possibility is that some COVID deaths are being miscounted very aggressively. Another possibility is that, this, is that it's these lockdown slash drug overdose deaths, although Europe doesn't have nearly the problem that we do with that. Another, pro, another possibility, and I hesitate even to say this out loud, Tucker, because I know what the response will be, is that this is cardiac related and it is something to do with the mass vaccination campaigns. But, uh, but you know, we don't have evidence, we don't have enough evidence to separate what the possibilities are. All we know is that people are dying at unprecedented rates in the U.S. In, in the 30 to 50 age group, the 20 to 50 age group, and now we're seeing excess mortality in some European countries, and we really should find out why. Well, that, that's kind of the point right there. We don't know. You said it five times. You're a responsible person. Really, in, t in 20 seconds, is there a highly aggressive, organized effort to figure out why these people are dying? I would say there's a highly aggressive organized effort to, to prevent anybody from talking about this data. You know, I was kicked off Twitter. I was forced onto Substack. Um, nobody talks about it except you. And I, and I don't know why that is either. Well, I think it's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I mean, we, I don't know what's causing it, but if people are dying, we should know why. And I think that's your premise as well. It's, and I'm grateful. You it's keep, pretty important. You keep yeah. Thanks. Yeah. The people die. Yeah, it's important. Alex Pearson, thank you very much.